not iterate. A agile. And agile is like is like working as you go. In a way, it's not like about creating the perfect well, solution. It's about there's, there's that's like a degree, but there's more degrees. Mm -hmm. There's like there's there's your your you're like 45 degrees around the circle. Okay. But there's more to the circle. Okay. So when you un you need to understand how that works. Now that now that's so do you, do, like with agile development, you kind of lay out like an end goal, right? And then so you have this end goal, and then you want to keep on iterating until you get to the end goal. Well, you, but you, you you have you, you hit it at every 45 degrees. You have the end goal. And then you're working back, and you're setting milestones. But okay. Then you're, and it's it's about it's so so generally you work in. I mean, for all intents and purposes, let's say you work in one day and one week increments. So you have a, a increment of one week where at the end of it, okay, we need to have this done. Yeah. And now you have five days to do that. So each day. You have what's called the scrum. Okay. And. You meet at the beginning of the day and say, okay, here's what I did yesterday, two minutes. Here's what I'm doing today. Here's what I'm going to have done today, five minutes. Say, okay, let's go do it. You do that. Is this personally? Is this no, this is how agile development works. But I mean, is, is this how like a, a, like one per? because I, I know most agile developments are done in, in a group of people. Well, you, it's, you can do it in, in whatever unit size you want. Okay. The units are very but for ease, we're breaking it down to, to ones. Oh, so it's one person. Yeah, but you can also do it in teams where you have a team. So it's and just like a philosophy of breaking up your time. It's it's a philosophy, but it's also very functional. So okay. a team would have a scrum, say, once a month, where, okay, this team is going to do this at the end of a month. Okay. And they have to, like, as a team, they just have to figure out how to do it. And then the team will actually do mini will do smaller unit scrums in there to reach that end goal of one month. So it's scalable, so... Yes. So, like, the there's a huge project, maybe there's 100 programmers on it, and they'll say, like, all right, by the end of the week, we need this. And then, like, that same team will say, like, all right, well, by the end of the day, we need this. Well, but if, then it's, like, filters down. Well, you would, have, you would have a team of 100, but then you would have, say, say, 10 managers. Yeah. The managers would scrum once a month and mm. say, at the end of this month... Each yeah, person would say, I will have these things done. Now that it's manager will scalable. that manager will go back to the team of ten and say, Here's our month, here's what we need to do for the week. And each person will have then their scrums for the day to reach that end goal. Wow, that's cool. It's cool. I I never understood that before, but that is that's a really cool way so of So that's what we're trying to do a little bit there. Yeah. But we haven't we haven't figured out yet what works for us because we haven't really dedicated or evaluated exactly how we can work. Because the recruiting thing is a tough thing for me to wrap my head around as far as scrumming and because there's a lot of extraneous things there. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be tough to do for that. However, we have umpteen other businesses where it's not tough to do. Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. Agile development. So has that transferred in other places other than programming? I mean, we we use it as a management style in Mindvale yeah. for for the marketers to say, uh, you know, we would say, here's the one. Literally, for each business, there would be one big thing we needed to try that month. Yeah. Maybe two. Maybe two. Like someone was, you know, quite good. And these are large revenue large potential revenue activities that we had to get done in the month. But then inside that, there would be smaller things. Like I would knew, I would know, you know, okay, I have my brand. I'm going to try this particular sales strategy in there, do experiment. But also I, I have proven activities that I know I need to do. Yeah. So I need to do, you know, let's just say I need to try this one strategy and I need to do two promotions. And that's my month of the large revenue things because those are the big things that... And you as a person then break that up into like... Well, it would be, I mean, f you know, for my brand per se, it would be me. I would know, okay, I need to do that. 
and I need I know I need to do those two promotions. Those are the big things. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, a promotion say takes me three days to do, but I still have two days where I can, you know, do some more split testing or you know, try a different type of mailer or, you know, you know, whatever, whatever. Do some blog posts, you know, like the things that like add have you ever heard of like big projects working working like agile development style like let's say you design like a chip architecture right like an intel or amd where there's maybe like 100 engineers all working on it right and it maybe takes years to develop this have you heard of like any like huge projects i mean i don't have specific examples because i'm not a developer so yeah. I, I haven't looked or like e even other like huge pro like undertakings Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I've, I've heard it's, so much within programming, it's, but I haven't heard, and like this marketing thing makes sense. I haven't heard it in the other aspects, but I'm just not sure if this just hasn't been adopted yet, or if it just, you know, has... Well, it's a lot of... It's, it's still a pretty new concept, so it hasn't percolated to... Yeah some of the bigger things and I don't have I don't have the depth of uh, of, of you know reading yeah. repertoire to see where it has but it's a it's a big concept in programming community do, do you know like the history of agile development or anything no no it's something I, I read about it was good Cause, I like, saw it working do, do you know, you know um, t uh, Tom uh, uh, Rick and Escher, uh, Tom Rickmeyer. Rickmeyer, yeah. He works at DRW. Yeah. DRW, all agile programming. Everyone there, ha like, it's a young, young organization doing some amazing things within quantitative trading and market making. And they're adamant about agile development. It's like a whole philosophy at the whole... At the whole yeah, I mean, because ultimately it's an... Ultimately, it is a management style. Yeah, I didn't get that. I thought it was. A, I thought it was like specifically a way to program and a way to work in teams, but it makes a lot of sense as uh, as the way that you've laid it out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's laid out as a way to manage programs. I'm I'm impressed, and that that's that's the way you're trying to cultivate me and Burke into working. Here. Yes. It's good. I mean, we should, um, this is something that I think that, that Burke needs to know. It's something that I think that I need to wrap my head around. And, you know, I think that for the, the slang dang crowd out there, I think that this is, uh, agile development is something that is going to actually be able to produce results while, um, while actually, you know, bring an idea to fruition and be able to break it up amongst multiple people and make sure that you hold the deadlines and not fall short. Slang game not count. <laughs> and continue our conversation. Fall short? And not fall short. Oh, you said and fall short. And not fall short. <laughs> Slang game not count. Count yeah, that.